Proverbs, Chapter 2, from the Passion Translation. My child, will you treasure my wisdom? Then and only then will you acquire it. And only if you accept my advice and hide it within, you will succeed. So train your heart to listen when I speak and open your spirit wide to expand your discernment. Then pass it on to your sons and daughters. Yes, cry out for comprehension and intercede for insight. For if you keep seeking it, like a man would seek for sterling silver, searching in hidden places for cherished treasure, then you will discover the fear of the Lord and find the true knowledge of God. Wisdom is a gift from a generous God, and every word he speaks is full of revelation and becomes a fountain of understanding within you. For the Lord has a hidden storehouse of wisdom, made accessible to his godly ones. He becomes your personal bodyguard as you follow his ways, protecting and guarding you as you choose what is right. Then you will discover all that is just, proper, and fair, and be empowered to make the right decisions as you walk into your destiny. When wisdom wins your heart and revelation breaks in, true pleasure enters your soul. If you choose to follow good counsel, divine design will watch over you and understanding will protect you from making poor choices. It will rescue you from evil in disguise and from those who speak duplicities, for they have left the path of righteousness and walk in the ways of darkness. They take pleasure when evil prospers and thoroughly enjoy a lifestyle of sin. But they're walking on a path to nowhere wandering away into deeper deception. Subheader, wisdom, the way of the pure. Only wisdom can save you from the flattery of the promiscuous woman. She's such a smooth talking seductress. She left her husband and has forgotten her wedding vows. You'll find her house on the road to hell and all the men who go through her doors will never come back to the place they were. They will find nothing but desolation and despair. Follow those who follow wisdom and stay on the right path. For all my godly lovers will enjoy life to the fullest and will inherit their destinies. But the treacherous ones who love darkness will lose not only all they could have had, but even their own souls. Proverbs chapter two, from the Amplified Translation. Subheader, the pursuit of wisdom brings security. My son, if you will receive my words and treasure my commandments within you, so that your ear is attentive to skillful and godly wisdom and apply your heart to understanding, seeking it conscientiously, and striving for it eagerly. Yes, if you cry out for insight and lift up your voice for understanding, if you seek skillful and godly wisdom as you would silver and search for her as you would hidden treasures, then you will understand the reverent fear of the Lord, that is, worshiping him and regarding him as truly awesome and discover the knowledge of God. For the Lord gives skillful and godly wisdom. From his mouth come knowledge and understanding. He stores away wisdom for the righteous, those who are in right standing with him. He is a shield to those who walk in integrity, those of honorable character and moral courage. He guards the paths of justice and he preserves the way of his saints, of his believers. 
Then you will understand righteousness and justice in every circumstance, and integrity and every good path. For skillful and godly wisdom will enter your heart, and knowledge will be pleasant to your soul. Discretion will watch over you. Understanding and discernment will guard you. To keep you from the way of evil and the evil man, from the man who speaks perverse things, from those who leave the of a brightness to walk in the ways of darkness, who find joy in doing evil and delight in the perversity of evil, whose paths are crooked and who are devious in their ways, to keep you from the immoral woman, from the seductress with her flattering words, who leaves the companion, her husband of her youth, and forgets the covenant of her God. For her house leads down to death, and her paths lead to the dead. None who go to her return again, nor do they regain the paths of life. So you will walk in the way of good men, that is, those of personal integrity, moral courage, and honorable character, and keep to the paths of the righteous. For the upright, those who are in right standing with God will live in the land, and those of integrity who are blameless in God's sight will remain in it. But the wicked will be cut off from the land, and the treacherous shall be forcibly uprooted and removed from it. Proverbs chapter 2 The New Living Translation Subheader The Benefits of Wisdom my child, listen to what I say, and treasure my commandments. Tune your ears to wisdom, and concentrate on understanding. Cry out for insight, and ask for understanding. Search for them as you would for silver. Seek them like hidden treasures. Then you will understand what it means to fear the Lord, and you will gain knowledge of God. For the Lord grants wisdom. From his mouth come knowledge and understanding. He grants a treasure of common sense to the honest. He is a shield to those who walk with integrity. He guards the paths of the just and protects those who are faithful to him. Then you will understand what is right, just and fair, and you will find the right way to go. For wisdom will enter your heart and knowledge will fill you with joy. Wise choices will watch over you. Understanding will keep you safe. Wisdom will save you from evil people, from those whose words are twisted. These men turn from the right way to walk down dark paths. They take pleasure in doing wrong, and they enjoy the twisted ways of evil. Their actions are crooked, and their ways are wrong. Wisdom will save you from the immoral woman, from the seductive words of the promiscuous woman. She has abandoned her husband and ignores the covenant she made before God. Entering her house leads to death. It is the road to the grave. The man who visits her is doomed. He will never reach the path of life. So follow the steps of the good, and stay on the paths of the righteous. For only the godly will live in the land, and those with integrity will remain in it. But the wicked will be removed from the land, and the treacherous will be uprooted.